Last Thanksgiving I ate a full plate and then ran a 5k to see if I would throw up. My time was 32 minutes. This was so hard. Whether I was on a roof or hanging out with friends. <laughs> I wasn't happy with how I looked. Then I realized it has nothing to do with how I look. Andrew doesn't care how he looks. Then my wife told me she would leave me if I didn't stop drinking and become more disciplined. This is my story of 75 Heart. Today is my first day of doing a program called 75 Heart. Look how fat I am and I have no discipline or mental fortitude. Thanks. Enjoy this documentary that I made, uh, starring myself, all about myself, and featuring myself. Uh, so you know, there's a lot of pride there, and maybe at the end of the video, I'll be like super humble, or maybe I'll have even more pride because I did 75 hard. Or maybe I'll quit halfway through. That's probably the only thing you really want to see happen in this video, isn't it? Shame. Shame on you for, for thinking that way. Meanie. Let me start off by explaining the glaring hole of 75 hard. Uh, you know how you try to make your life easier? You shouldn't do that because intentionally making things difficult is better for you. The glaring hole of 75 hard. No one cares. Too bad you can only do 75. It's brought to you by MOL Films. We'll, uh, we'll flip that around in, in the edit for you guys to see, see it properly. Doing this regimen was completely for my own glory, but no one was going to be impressed. This video is filled with gloating. Not many people will watch it, but that's okay. I'm better than every single person who doesn't watch this video. For those of you watching, I consider us equals with me having done something harder than you. Yeah, yeah. And if you have done 75 hard, then I have a secret to tell you. I cheated. Yeah, guys, thanks for checking out. Oh, hold on. Sponsor. We're trying really hard not to be like every other workout video in the world. That's why uh, we're both really out of shape. So. Other than a beer belly, I'm a grand physical specimen. So this is more about the mental discipline than it is about doing two workouts a day. It's 75 days of like working out twice a day and eating a diet and reading 10 pages of a book. So that's gonna last like a day or two for you. That's basically all I wanted you to say. Okay. Here's all the stuff I have to do every day for 75 days with no rest days and no excuses. And if I miss anything, I will start over. I'm really excited for a little extra challenge. And I think when I have ripped abs at the end of 75 days, I'm gonna make everybody in my family jealous. <laughs> Me too, I want abs. Oh my gosh, do you hear that cat? I also want whatever that cat oh, is. It's a baby, it's a baby. Hold this, hold this. Oh, hold this. What, what, guys? <laughs> oh, little face, oh no, what happened to it? I think it got attacked by something. Ouch. Oh. No, it's deformed. Put it down. I'm gonna take it home. No! It's purring, so maybe it's not really in pain. Oh my goodness. Did you see that shadow? There is an owl out to get this cat. <laughs> I don't want to bring it home. I don't know what the point of the cat was. So this is the part that I didn't even want to put in the video because it's not funny and it gets real and I have to talk about what a slacker I've been. I wasn't putting God first and I wasn't putting my family first. I was staying up playing video games. I was addicted to my phone, just uh, always uh, having having really bad habits and so uh the the big thing the big reason that i wanted to do this reset was for mental and spiritual discipline not really working out even though that's much easier to put in the video so anyways here's the books first is sovereignty which is about what men should be doing and then resolutions for men which is about what men should be doing and then Disciplines of a Godly Man, which was also about what men should be doing. And all three of those kind of said the same thing in different ways. And um, 
Then the book that I don't have uh, to show because someone else is borrowing it is called The Great Sex Rescue, which in a manner of speaking is also about what men should be doing. How hard are you? How hard am I? Yeah. I don't think it's that hard. That's, that's what you say when, you're, when you talk about 75 hard with people, but just ask them, how hard are you? <laughs> what am I reading? It's called Dumbing Us Down. It's about the uh, plan to stupefy our children in the public school system and why we should pull them out uh, and homeschool them, which I'm a five-year homeschooler, so it's just a uh, reiterating. You only made it to fifth grade? Right now I'm finishing up When I Don't Desire God. And throughout this whole process, I've gained the much better habit of reading the Bible and praying every morning and then doing devotions with the family, which is super easy and it's really fun and I look forward to doing it now. But it's just something that like I never bothered with, I never cared about doing and it's, it's just, it's so important. Getting a gallon of water is easy, working out is easy, um, second workout easy, but I'm gonna stick, stay away from sweets for 75 days. I think that's gonna be hard for me. And we're starting over. No. Cause I had a cinnamon roll. I had a cinnamon roll too. It was worth it. I mean, I could work out, but I already ate a cinnamon roll, so that's really what it's all about. I'm blaming the cinnamon roll. I'm not gonna say, oh, I can't go work out tonight. I probably would work out tonight and it'd be fine. I might even still do it, but I ate a cinnamon roll, so <laughs> start over tomorrow. What's really funny is watching all this stuff from like two months ago and me thinking like, oh, I'm lifting some good weight. Now it's like, it's, it's like a warm up. Boast, boasty, boast, 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 boasting. All right, I know I'm so competitive and as soon as I have somebody else to compete against, I will win. I've never really <laughs> had a friend who was like, hey, I'm doing this challenge. Except for you. This is the last race that I ever ran. Uh, it's also the first race you ever ran? These are trash. <laughs> I want I want to like refund or like to exchange them. My knees are bad. <laughs> steak and chicken. Steak and chicken. Steak and chicken. Steak and chicken. Friends. Here's some calf raises, and uh, here's some, uh, I don't actually know what the name of that oil is, and, and there's the, yeah, um, here I ate some food, and then I, if I drink soda, I don't take as many calories, and that's, I don't know, maybe halfway through where we at, and here we're benching like 285, I think, so just, you know, hit a new PR, and, and then that's it, but you only have to do it once. And so, you know, making all these gains, uh, and now 17 and a half inch biceps, so grew a whole inch. Yikes! But you're not a real man unless you can pick up a tarantula. Come on, come on, you have gloves on. Just pick it up. Pick it up. Nope. It's trying to kill me! With all the physical benefits, that come with it also comes mental benefits. So I went ahead and organized all the plates on this uh, Smith machine for us all. Here's your 2.5ers and 25ers. It's real easy to, well that says two and a half so it's a little complicated. If it said 2.5, it would make sense. And then over here we have kind of everything else like your fives, your tens, 35s. And we're gonna put 45s on both sides when I'm done using them, because obviously I'm busy with them right now. But I think it makes a lot of sense to put 45s on both sides, because the guys who can actually lift more than one set of 45s are, they're gonna have problems figuring out which side the 45s are on. So it's best to just put those on both sides for them. But for everyone else, we can just, you know, keep things organized, it'll be great. Frequently asked questions. How is 75 heart going? and stuff like that. If you'd like to know the answer, drop it in a comment and I'll answer those things 
tomorrow or on Tuesday. Oh yes, here is the show ladies and gentlemen. Now this is what I was telling you about. Watch the ease, the grace of the walk walk climber. This is a sight to behold. I have told you about this. And now you will witness with your own eyes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you are in for a treat now. Watch as you use the button at the very top, you will hear the buzzer. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yes. Oh. Bing, 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 bing. Yes. Applause! Applause! <laughs> oh wow! Well, yes, the mighty warrior, the conqueror, has returned to us. Applause! 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 Well done. Tell us when you are up there, what was going through your mind? My nails are too long. So went to Dallin's house. And it was September 11th, so I climbed his stairs 217 times. And I only counted going up while Megan was in the pool. Braggy brag brag, except it's September, September 11th, so you gotta like stay humble. You can't really brag about that. Yay! And here's before and after, and yeah. Yeah, I can see the difference, especially if you look at my belly button. Oh, and my phone. Um, I didn't get the new iPhone. Uh, so you can you can tell there that I saved money. Oh, and I grew a beard, and my hair. I like my hair. I, I don't know. I kind of like it long, huh? Look at my eye. I woke up this morning, and I had half a water bottle left of water. So I failed yesterday. Today I'm on day 58. So I didn't do it. I. I I lost. I'm not gonna start over and do 75 days again, but I'm gonna finish these 75 days with with knowing that I was a failure. This is my water bottle. If I haven't talked about it before, it's half a gallon, so had about half of this left. I was just sick last night. I went to sleep at like 10 o'clock, man. That's that's early for me if you know me. Okay. That's it. We lost. Again. First time got beat by cinnamon. Roll. Second. I think he got beat by me. So it's been a week since uh, I quit 75 hard. And I gotta say, ice cream is not really very enjoyable. You know what I miss? Is while other people were eating ice cream, just kind of mocking them and telling them how much better I was than they are. So I think I'm gonna go back. I think I'm gonna do it again.